The Zoomi has the seatbelt routing clearly identified by red fabric on either side of the seat. Take the car's three-point seat belt and pass it through the first routing. Take the seat belt from the routing and pass it underneath the straps for the harness. Place the seat belt through the second routing and pass to the front of the seat. Pull the seat belt through the routing at the front of the seat, passing the straps one over and one under the armrest and secure the buckle. And finally, pull the seat belt tight to secure the seat. In group 2 and 3 mode, the car seat harness is not used. The car's three-point seat belt is passed under the armrests and under the headrest. The buckle is then secured. A red seat belt tensioner is used to correctly position the seat belt. Insert the seat belt into the red clip. The seat belt tensioner needs to be adjusted to keep the seat belt in the correct position. Adjust the tensioner by moving the metal slider until the red clip is in the correct position. Safety point number one, buckle crunch. Buckle crunch is a problem where the car's three point seat belt buckle comes into contact with the infant seat in a way which could cause damage to the buckle in the event of an accident. With Casato car seats, always ensure that the buckle, the top of the buckle, is lower or at the same level as the top part of the infant seat. Never allow the buckle to become higher than the top of the infant seat, as in the event of an accident, the buckle can be pulled over the seat, causing damage to the buckle. Always ensure it's level or lower. Safety point number two, the harness height. If the harness is mounted too high, there will be excess fabric which could cause the harness to slip off the shoulders. If the harness is too low, there will also be excessive fabric causing the harness to slip off the shoulders. Please ensure that the harness is level or just slightly lower than the top of the child's shoulders. This will provide a very snug fit. Ensure the harness is on top of the shoulders. Safety point number three is seat belt routings. If you do not use all of the specified routings, the seat could become loose and may cause injury in the event of an accident. Always ensure that you have read the instructions or the routing label attached to the seat to be sure that you have used all of the specified routings correctly. When all the routings are in place, pull the seat belt tightly to ensure you have a safe and secure fit. Safety point number four, twisted harness. Always ensure the harness has not become twisted and that it lays flat against the child's body. Regularly check that the harness has not become twisted in the area near the buckle. Safety point number five, bulky clothes. If you wear bulky clothes on your child, the harness will have excessive movement in an accident. Here we can see how much free space there is with the coat removed, making the harness ineffective. Always ensure the harness is tight and well fitted. When tightening the harness, place two fingers between the harness and the child and adjust it tight. 
Safety point number six, headrests. Always ensure the car's headrest is not in contact with the child seat, creating a gap between the two seats. Always remove headrests completely. There can be then a secure fit between the two seats. Never refit your headrest and use it to secure the child seat, as in the event of an accident, the child seat can fold around the headrest, causing damage to the structure of the child seat.